Hey everybody, today we'll be addressing how to increase the value of our home. What can we do to raise the value of what our property is worth? Before I get into the answer, I want to point out that I will be addressing this question from the position of a very normal and traditional subdivision where there are several models of homes that are being built over and over again. We're not talking about anything exquisite or custom-made homes. First thing is first, before I share with you any activities or projects that will add value to your home, we want to make sure that we stay away from things that will devalue our home. These are very basic and simple. One, let's make sure that we maintain everything that we can maintain and keep up with. And two, make sure that everything is functioning 100%. Once that's out of the way, here are a few simple projects that can be done around the house to increase the value of your property in no order of importance. And there's, some of these are fairly obvious. Um, starting with the kitchen, whether you have regular countertops or granite countertops, whether you have regular appliances or stainless steel appliances, uh, looking at the cabinets, whether they're updated or not, all of that does make a difference and will most definitely impact the value of your home. Then moving up to the bathrooms, are the bathrooms updated and do they have all the bells and whistles? Looking at the flooring, is it carpet, laminate or hardwood? That will definitely make a big difference there. Going to the basement, is it finished or unfinished? Moving to the exterior of the home, is there a patio? Is there a deck? Uh, is the landscaping done professionally? Uh, what about the siding? Uh, what about the roof? When was the last time it was updated? And these are just a few examples that you can definitely think about when it comes to improving the value of your home. Now there's two potential pitfalls that I want to warn you about so you can watch out for. First thing is, whatever project you choose to do in order to improve the value of your home, remember this, the money that you spend is not the money that you're going to get back in value. For example, if you spend $30,000 finishing your basement when it comes to selling your property, that will not increase the value by $30,000. A more realistic figure is probably fifteen to twenty thousand dollars, and I'm not going to go through and share any other numbers when it comes to the different projects because that will really depend on your particular situation and how you finish it, what kind of finishes they are, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That is something you can discuss with your realtor to see what's realistic and what makes sense. The second thing that I want you to watch out for is since we're in a traditional subdivision there is a limit, there is a maximum price that you can hit and can go no higher than that. And you need to be aware of what that maximum price is. Because once you hit that maximum, no matter how much more money you put into your house, how many more projects you work on, you will never see that money back. So please keep that in mind when it comes to renovating, updating, and doing anything to increase the value of your home. I hope you find some of this information beneficial and useful. If you have any questions, comments, and suggestions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And I will see you all next week. Thank you for joining.